We've all seen the videos of Mentos being dropped into a bottle of Coca-Cola. Spoiler alert, it instantly causes extreme fizzing, and most of your Coke will have erupted into the air like a volcano. But this then begs the question, if such an extreme reaction occurs when those minty candies are dropped into a Coke bottle, what would happen if these two ingredients were mixed in someone's stomach? Best make sure all your furniture is covered in tarp, cause today, we're discussing Mentos in Coke, in your stomach. So what is actually going on when a Mentos is dropped into a bottle of Coke? Must be some crazy chemical reaction, right? The sugar must react with the soda in such a way that all the Coke just explodes right out of the bottle. Not exactly. In fact, not at all. While it may seem like this experiment is chemistry, it's actually physics. Bottles of Coke are packed with dissolved carbon dioxide gas in the factory. Each bottle is highly pressurized before the cap is screwed on. And since carbon dioxide is particularly good at forming bonds with water in the Coke, this environment is perfect for the fizz to remain until you unscrew the cap and pour it into a glass. Bubbles form when the carbon dioxide reacts with itself, which occurs when the bonds with water are broken. And that's where the Mentos comes in. Ah, Mentos, the fresh maker. A delightfully smooth mint candy that will help fight even the worst case of bad breath you have. Except Mentos aren't smooth at all. While they may look like perfectly serene little round mints, on the microscopic level, things look a lot different. Zoom in and you'll see that a Mentos surface is actually covered in tiny bumps. This rough surface is the perfect catalyst to break the bonds between carbon dioxide and water. So when you plop one in, well, all that carbon dioxide is now free. It was physicists from North Carolina that ran the soda experiment, and they tried a plethora of different substances to try and get a similar reaction, from salt to caffeine-free Coke to seltzer. It came back to physics, not chemistry. The rough Mentos surface was what caused the fizz. Ah, but here's the thing about Coke. Bubbles beget more bubbles. And once some of the carbon dioxide breaks free, those bubbles in turn would cause more carbon dioxide to break free. And well, you've seen what happens. Speed also plays a role in how big this soda eruption is. Mentos are nice and dense, so they sink quickly. And that speed of entering the Coke plays a huge part in the release of bubbles. Try this simple experiment at home to see what we're talking about. Crush a Mentos candy, which will cause it to be less dense than the non-crushed candies, and you'll see the fizz that comes out is nowhere near the explosion of the untouched Mentos. Fizzing will still occur, don't get us wrong, but it won't be anything to write home about. Well, now that we know the science of what's happening here, let's get down to business. What would happen if you wolfed down a bunch of Mentos and then instantly drank a full two liter of Coke? Would your stomach explode? Hate to break it to you, Brainiacs, but the idea that ingesting Coke and Mentos will blow up your tummy is an urban legend. It's completely false. As soon as you eat the Mentos, you have already started to instantly dissolve the microscopically rough surface of the candy. It happens as soon as you pop the Mentos in your mouth, and you can bet it will have happened by the time it reaches your stomach. When the Coke reaches your stomach, there's no rough surface to break the carbon dioxide's bonds with water, so there's no fizz. The most you could get from trying this is some pretty serious cramps, or maybe you'd vomit from the extreme amount of sugar you just ingested. Many YouTubers have tried this hoping that their bellies would burst, and all they found was the same underwhelming result, that they were now just filled with a bunch of Coca-Cola and candy. But if you can't get enough of the spectacle that is a volcanic eruption of fizz from your soda, maybe you should take note of another physics experiment. Coke and butane. Oh, you heard that right. We don't recommend you try this at home, Brainiacs, because, well, the results are insane. What this experiment entails is pouring some coke out of the bottle to make room for liquid butane fuel. Butane fuel's boiling point is low, as in 32 degrees Fahrenheit low. With butane being so easy to boil, when poured into a bottle of coke, it just sort of sits on top of the coke like oil on water. But if you turn the bottle upside down, whoosh, the butane will all boil at once due to being in contact with the coke. And the bottle? Oh, kiss that baby goodbye, because it will shoot up like a rocket faster than you can say science. So now you know the truth, Brainiacs. Mentos and Coke may be quite a sight on its own, but when inside the human body, it's nowhere near the spectacle most people expect. So the next time someone bets you 50 bucks that you won't eat Mentos and drink Coke because they think you're gonna explode, simply smile and take their money.
and get ready to cramp up from all that sugar you're about to ingest.